Today on the channel from Cella Toys Series 2 of their retros, we've got Adam Bomb. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another retro unboxing and review and today we've got one from Chella Toys Series 2 Adam Bomb and Chella no stranger to the retro game as we all know it all started way back in the day with the WWF Hasbro line Mattel brought it back as some retros Mattel went away and that's where the zombie sailors the Chella the Rush collectibles uh, many many others started making Hasbro style figures and Chella as of this moment I think is the big gun of all this we do know zombie sailor figures should be shipping very soon I've uh, been a long wait long delays on those guys expensive figures but from all the pictures we've seen everything else uh, they look like they are going to be better than the Mattel ones even so it'll be interesting where Chella fits once zombie gets consistent with some figures going out because as of right now obviously you got Mattel but then you got Chella and zombie kind of vying for the number two spot but technically zombie as of this filming has not delivered any product yet but i'm very anxiously anticipating my series one zombie sailor figures and we'll see some of the other ones like the jeff jarrett danhausen right behind those so stay tuned for those reviews on the channel one day soon but of course, this isn't our first time talking cello on the on the channel here. We did unbox a few. I do have both Hayabusa's we need to unbox one of these days. We'll get to it, of course we will. We always do. Uh, but I always go back and forth. Do I want a mint on card set or a loose set? Well, I decided I'm going to go loose with all these because guess what? There's only so many dollars to go around, especially in this day and age. Uh, it's tough to have a double up set as most of these figures are $40 or more. Shipping eats into a lot of it. They are pricey and that's the problem when you get things like this with Chella is a smaller company. It's not Mattel. It's not Hasbro. Uh, you got to pay more for things like this where you might be able to get this for $15 from Mattel. It's going to be $40 for somebody like Chella. And that's going to make a lot of people skip the line entirely or pick and choose or pick a uh, mint set or loose set for the most part. And I've decided I'm going to go loose on these. As cool as these are though, these look very, very good. They look beautiful on card. And of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's take a look here at the old Atom Bomb. Beautiful carding here. But one issue was the carding on this figure. A lot of the figures that went out here for people, as we do know, a lot of people are keeping these been on card. Unfortunately, the bubble fell off the card. The glue was not strong enough. So that was a huge miss for these. Uh, they did fix a lot of them, but there is a lot that were unfortunately loose and didn't have a choice in the matter. I don't know how that will affect this one future value. This might be a harder one to find mint down the road. So five years from now, I might be saying, why did I unbox this on my channel? I could have sold this for $200 or, or whatever whatever it is, but uh, we do it for science. You guys know how that goes, but beautiful love letter to the old Hasbro's back in the day on the card here. You got Adam Bomb, of course, uh, in the plastic prison right here on the front, but then you got the cello logo. You got the cool throwback right here talking about his uh, action feature, and then you got a big glamour shot there of Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb, a pretty iconic 90s wrestler. Wasn't around a real long time in the Adam Bomb persona. Of course, went to WCW, was Chronic and Wrath, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but very, very toyetic personality there. And of course, we did get a Jax Classic Superstars back in the day. Uh, we might have got a micro brawler, but we do know Chella Toys. They're coming out with a glow in the dark version of this. They are also coming out with a Bone Cruncher edition. Uh, the hope is they come out with an elite style like the Dynamite Kid and Sabu of Adam Bomb. I think a lot of people will be up for that, myself included. So there it is, very cool packaging there. And then on the back, there it is, very cool file card. You guys know I love a file card. I love a cross sell. You guys know that, a little glamour shot, warnings, all that kind of fun stuff. Let's read the back, see what's doing back here, see what's going on. Collect them all. Very, very nostalgic Hasbro type packaging on the back, as I said. But you got the Dynamite Kid, Tom Billington. We did unbox him on the channel. I do have the variant of him coming as well. Hayabusa, like I said, I have both versions still to unbox. Greg the Hammer Valentine, that is a major coup for the cello line. I'm sure Zombie Sailor really wished he could have got that one because that's going to go great with the Honky Tonk Man, uh, really giving us what we should have got many, many years ago. Uh, Tenga Loa is one. It'll be interesting how well he sells. Gangrel and Luna Vachon, very, very cool two uh, figures there. Uh, the first female uh, retro, I believe, might be Luna Vachon by the time all the things are said and done. Then we got Adam Bomb, and then we got the BWO. We got Hollywood Nova, Big Stevie Cool, 
Man, I'm all in on those two. I love the BWO. Got to have those figures, of course. Then it shows Adam Bomb here. Uh, Smash your instructions. Hold figure in position. Articulate arms to lift opponent into overhead position. To activate, slam your opponent down onto the canvas. And you get one Chella wrestling point. I don't know. They haven't said that means anything yet. I guess I'm going to save these just in case for a rainy day. Uh, but that is on there. It does say limited edition. And it also says Adam Bomb, six foot six, 292 pounds. From Three Mile Island, never beautiful there. Uh, debuted in 1993, Adam Bomb devastated his opponents with the Neutron Bomb Driving Lariat, Adam Smasher Power Bomb, and the old Meltdown Slam. And uh, I can't deny that. He really did. All right, here it goes. Let's get him off the card. Let's see what all the fuss is about. I'm going to try to do this as clean as possible. And there it is. I think it's about as clean as I can get it. Right there, off the card. See you later. Off to the side. There it goes. All right, now we get down to the old brass tacks on Adam Bomb. Now, uh, first thing, you feel this. This doesn't quite feel like a Hasbro. Hasbro's kind of had that hollow feel to them. You know, they just didn't feel like they weighed a ton. This is a little heavier. It doesn't feel hollow at all. Uh, there's no waist articulation. For some reason, I thought there was waist articulation. I don't know why I thought that. But uh, articulation-wise, uh, you got the arms up and down. You got the head. No. So you just got up and down, unless everything's really, really tight. Yeah, that's all we get is the up and down on the arm. So that's not very much articulation here. I'm going to put that out there. But retro style, it's not like a Mattel. It's not like a Jazzware. It's not like an Ultimate Edition. Uh, we're kind of accustomed to that. But one thing that's weird is we know this iconic pose from our Hasbro days. We know the mechanism of the springs and everything. Uh, you feel like you're going to have that. It doesn't have that at all. It just moves the arms. So there's no playability feature. There's no functions with that going on there. Uh, but that being said, do you always need that? I don't know. I don't know. I, in this day and age, I don't need those mechanisms, but they were so really cool and very iconic back in the day, as we all know. Uh, but we don't get any of that with this one, so that's a little interesting. But let's break this figure down a little bit. I believe these glasses do come off. I'm a little nervous about that, though. Uh, all right, yeah, they come off. Just got to be easy with them. I could see these breaking. So you do get an accessory piece here. Uh, but, you know, it does look like Atom Bomb. I don't know if you gave me the head, I'd say, oh, yeah, that's Atom Bomb for sure. Uh, but definitely uh, looks like him when you get the whole piece together here. The glass is a nice accessory, a typical band. Reminds me a lot of the Cobra Viper for you G.I. Joe Classified Collectors. That's kind of what it reminds me of here. But it does fit very, very tight on there. Uh, nice red and yellow going on, so not too shabby on those. Uh, the head, like I said, does look like Adam Bomb. It also looks like a guy with long hair and a beard. So uh, choose your own adventure there. Uh, but very good. No paint problems on the face. No chipping, nothing like that. Uh, not too glossy. Uh, sometimes, you know, some of the Hasbro style get a little bit glossy. This does not have that problem. Uh, breaking it down to the, we already talked about the articulation, but he does have a tattoo on his arm, and it's a bomb, and it says Adam Bomb. Uh, very fitting. Adam Bomb right there on the side. Uh, you get the black gloves, the black elbow pads. I do got a little paint rubbed off there. I think that was on the back of the package. Uh, so we do got a little paint going there. He does have a singlet. It's kind of a neonish greenish yellow. Uh, you got kind of that nuclear bomb, nuclear waste symbol right there. You got some lines going down the back. Uh, he is ripped up. He was always a big jacked up dude, so that's fitting. Black there with the singlet. Then you get the uh, knee pads going on and, of course, the black boots. And that's about all she wrote, so there's not a lot more to this one. I don't know what I was expecting, I guess. I opened up the Dynamite Kid. Uh, and I know what to expect, but this one feels, it just feels different than your typical retro or your old school Hasbro. Uh, and it feels like it has a nice weight to it. That's the one thing that really sticks out. It's a little heavier than I anticipated it to be, which isn't a bad thing. Of course, we do have one of the rarest Hasbros of all time, the Atom Bomb Hasbro from back in the day. A grail piece for many out there, so you can kind of see how these compare against each other. You can definitely tell this was from back in the day. This is more of a current day toy. Still, both of these are very cool. I did not have this as a kid. I didn't even know this existed when I was a kid until I got the internet late in like 96 or whatever it was. And I was like, I couldn't believe what I was seeing here that Adam Bomb actually had a uh, Mattel or Mattel, a Hasbro back in the day. 
but very, very cool. Is it worth about $40 price point for this atom bomb? Yeah, that's where you got to look yourself in the mirror and you got to vote with your wallet. This isn't for everybody. This is a little bit of a pricey line for what you get for sure. Uh, so like I said, it's not going to be for everybody. But for me, I had to pick this one up. I'm dabbling in the cellos. I'm the cellos. I'm dabbling in the cello uh, from time to time. But I'm also dabbling in the cellas. Uh, I'm getting the zombie sailors. Uh, of course, the Mattel retros I am picking up. Uh, the Rush collectibles came out. It was Larry Zabisco. I did order those ones. We'll see how those go. Uh, there's another company threatening to come out with some retros. We'll see how those go. Something's got to give in the retro game, though. I don't know if there's enough fandom. I don't know if there's enough money in everybody's wallets to support them all. Uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, next year or two in the retro game for sure. But Adam Bomb, I like what I see. Just not a ton of meat on the bone. Maybe for most, it might be better left on card. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? Where do you sit? On card, loose, both, none? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, like this video. You made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And of course, the Patreon. Uh, that way you can support the channel. Get exclusive content, bonus content, giveaways, and early access to videos like these. So there it is. So for Adam Bomb, I'm Kyle. And I'll see you guys all real soon.